a very warm morning to one and all present here. Standing before you is Araksha Jha and I ask with a thoda se. From class 9th, have immense pleasure to welcome you all to this special occasion of debate competition. Now I request our respected dignitaries to please light the lamp and get the blessings of Ma Saraswati. Sharde, Ma Saraswati Sharde. I would like to call upon the students of class 7 to sing world's national anthem. Cosmic blue pearl on the continents and the oceans of the world. United we stand as flora and fauna. United we stand as species of an earth. Black, brown, white, different colors. In sun, hum, dirty, hamara ghar, hami mana ho. Our cosmic was is cosmic blue pearl, the most beautiful planet in the universe. Our cosmic was is cosmic blue pearl. All the peoples and the nations of the world All for one and one for all United we unfold the blue marble flag Black, brown, white, different colors No sound, the senses ones La tere noche my zoos Somos eres humanos La tere we 
are humans, the earth is our home. We are humans, the earth is our home. We are humans, the earth is our home. Thanks for your melodious anthem. Today, we are honored to have eminent guests Honorable Dr. M. Salpekar Sir and Honorable Dr. P. Sahu Sir with us. Welcome so. Our guest Honorable Dr. M. Salpekar Sir is honored by Honorable Srimati Prathibha Tai Patel, former President of India, treasured various honors and awards at national and international level. Sir conducts regular career orientation and soft skill workshops for students. I request our principal ma'am to welcome our guest with a sapling and a memento as a token of love. Thank you. We also have with us Dr. P. Sahu sir. Sir is Professor in Rashtrasant Tukuloji Maharaj, Nagpur University. Sir works in a department of ancient Indian history, culture and archaeology. I request our Vice Principal Ma'am to welcome our guest with a sapling and a memento as a token of love. Thank you Ma'am. Now I request our Honorable Dr. M. Salfeko sir to guide us with his precious words. Good morning. I think uh, we are a little behind schedule and everybody here has come prepared for his uh, presentation and everyone is very least interested in listening to what I uh, say, but yes, to begin with, let me wish everyone all the best for the competition and since it's a competition, you have to prove your best. In general, the debates otherwise are not supposed to be very positive unless it takes the shape of discussion. Because in debate we decide, generally in debate it is decided that who is right and in discussions it is decided what is right. And the basic intention of this competition is to know what is right. And I suppose, I, I, I believe that everybody will take the part in this competition with that affirmative note, with a positive thought that we are here to compete, not to fight. And uh, as it is, what my previous experience had been, that students perform so beautifully, their language, their points, their style is so effective that at times it becomes very difficult to judge who is the best. But it is said that in democracy all are equal and some are more equal. So those who are more equal will win and those who remain without uh, the prize doesn't mean that they do not have potential and their competition will lie with not with those who have won but with themselves to prove better than what they have did. So with this note, wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I hand over the mic to Radha ma'am to give brief description about today's activity. Good morning, one and all present here. Uh, dear all, we have assembled here to celebrate the 70th year of adoption of our national anthem, Janaganamana. It is a time to motivate our students to think independently what is wrong and what is right, as well as to make them aware about the rights and responsibilities of a good citizen. We want to make our children 
global citizens as well as a proud Indian. So I call upon Nupur ma'am to read out the rules and regulations of our debate. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inter School Debate Competition. National Anthems Unites the Nation. And the top, there are two topics been given. Playing our national anthem in public places like cinema hall solved the purpose to instill, to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens. The second one, singing national anthems of different countries solves the problem of international conflicts. The rules are as follows. Each participant will be given five minutes to present his or her thoughts. A warning bell will be rung at the completion of the four minutes and the final bell at the end of the fifth minute. Participants will not be judged after the fifth minutes. Points will be deducted for exceeding the time limit. Time taken by every individual speaker will be recorded by the host school stopwatch for the purpose of record keeping. No other form of timekeeping will be entertained on any account. The order of the speakers will be finalized by a draw of lots. We have already done that. Then one top participant will be allowed to participate in one topic only. And the parameters are as follows, like knowledge of the subject, presentation, organization, voice modulation, proper sequencing, refutation, that is analysis, platform manners and ethical consideration, and relevance and evidence, substantiation, uh, substantiation with evidence. There will be two individual prizes for first and second winners of each category. And lastly, the leader of opposition will be given two minutes to sum up for his side, which will be followed by the leader of the proposition getting another two minutes to sum up for his or her side. That is the person who will be speaking first will have to end up with, uh, will be getting two minutes extra to end up with the same topic. Did you get it children? Understood? Thank you. Now can we request to have proceed with the program? Uh, one simple announcement, children. The first topic that is uh, playing our national anthem in public places like cinema hall, this topic will be taken in this particular hall. And the another topic, children, those who are participating for the another topic that is singing national anthems for different countries will be taken in uh, the another place that is called as language lab in the same floor. Did you get? The first topic will be conducted over here. The participants who are participating for the first topic for and against will be given here. And the another topic for and against the children can move out to language lab. Is it clear? Yes. Thank you. with token number two. Uh, Nitya talk for. Picture this. The PWF World Championship at Switzerland. PV Sindhu on the victory podium with the gold medal. As India's national anthem plays. Tears roll down her eyes. Millions of miles away, 
indeed erupt in jubilation, cheering their golden girl. A good death moment. Good morning, honorable members of the jury, my worthy audience, and my fellow students. I, Nidya Dekhriwal, stand before you to speak for the motion playing national anthems at public places like cinema halls instills the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens. True, 100% true. I ask you, my dear audience, what is it about a Jan Gunman that made Sindhu so emotional? I put it to you. It was because our anthem signifies everything our country stands for, everything we take pride in. A national anthem is the symbol of a nation. It brings countrymen together in an invisible bond of fraternity. There is something about the anthem that seems to say, through good times and bad, we shall be together, we shall be one. So why all this rhetoric, this debate? With due respect to my opponents, I feel that the very notion that anthems should not be played in public places is utter foolishness. Where, I ask you, where else can such a powerful symbol of the nation be played? Quietly in the privacy of our houses? Quietly so that nobody can hear it out in the streets? No, no, no. My esteemed opponents are bound to argue that patriotism does not arise from singing anthems. I beg to defer. The immutable bond between man and music is something that cannot be expressed in words. Hearing a national anthem with its soulful lyrics could cause even a hardened criminal to weep. So then imagine the effects on you, you, and you. Remember the scene in Charles Dickens' is A Tale of Two Cities with Le Masle being played? Liberty, equality, and fraternity, the lifeblood of the French Revolution permeating every word of it. If you sang Le Masle, you believed in France. In today's world, differences are plenty. Caste, creed, race, religion. There is enough to divide man, to cause him to hate his own fellow men. So what is so terrible then about a song that unites people, that reminds them of a common history and heritage, of a shared past and a belief in a wonderful future? Why not sing such a wonderful anthem where everyone can hear it and join in with gusto, singing till one's soul reaches the heights of heavens. During wars, the national anthem stirs the soldiers to defend their country to the last drop of their blood. When played in schools, the anthem teaches children to love, to honor, and to respect their country. When played in cinema halls, it reminds people that they are not just individuals, but citizens of a nation. When played in social and community gatherings, it serves to unite people of diverse beliefs. When played in international ceremonies and events, it serves as a reminder of our nation's proud participation on the world stage. And when played on national days, the floodgates of emotion burst open till every man, woman, and child proudly declare that this is my country. I will give it my all. In conclusion, my honorable jury, dear opponents and audience, let us play anthems at sports competitions, in cinemas, in schools, in all public places. Play it till it reverberates in our hearts, till it stays in our minds long after the last note has been sung. Play it publicly. Play, play, play. Thank you. participant speaking against Vaishnavi. In the words of Rabindranath Tagore, I will never allow patriotism to triumph over humanity. As long as I live, stresses that nationalism shouldn't be an obligation. Forcing citizens to love their country resembles monarchy. Good morning, honorable chairperson, esteemed judges, 
teachers, worthy opponents, and all my dear friends. I, Vaishnavi Naidu, am here to speak against the motion. Playing national anthem in public places like cinema halls serves the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens. On 30th November 2016, Supreme Court announced that all cinema halls should compulsorily play the national anthem before the screenings of the films and that everyone present at the hall must stand up till the national anthem is sung. According to my opinion, if 100% of them are present at the hall, then only 30% will have that goosebumps, those tears, heartbeats like a true soldier when the national anthem is being played. So, by this, how can you say it spreads unity? Unity, the word itself, means togetherness, to work together, to stand together, speak together. Not only this, but also feel together, together and together. Just give a look at animal world. Lions hunt in pride. Elephants move in herds. Fishes swim in schools. They do not have anthem to thread them together. What they have is faith. Well, my worthy opponents can say that the anthem is the base form for everything to function. But I raise the question to my worthy opponents, where has the faith gone? Army, which quoted as example for nationalism and unity, touches self-service first, not anthem. The main idea of service is not just serving a soldier, it's serving your country, serving your fellow soldiers, serving your countrymen. Therefore, for being united, it's not the anthem is necessary, it's commonality of approach, empathy with fellow countrymen, performing one's duties as a citizen of the country. It is important to remember that there is always the right place to do something. And a cinema hall definitely isn't where you want to play the national anthem. Well, in the quotes of a newsreel or documentary, national anthem is played as a part of a film. It is not expected of the audience to stand up as standing is bound to interrupt the exhibition of the film and would create disorder and confusion rather than add to the dignity of the film. We all know that movies belong to entertainment field. Then what is the relation between patriotism and entertainment? Why only film industry is being targeted? Why not other industries? You know, respect cannot be demanded. If there is the need to play the anthem right before the movies, then it should be made mandatory. Before entering government and corporate offices, parks, malls and many other places where people meet and mingle. Hey, aren't we all youths? So it is in our hand to make the future of our country. Let's start it from today. Raise your voices against playing national anthem in theatres. My worthy opponents say a big yes to what I say. Because national anthem exists in its form and meaning. As long as unconditional respect is there for the same. Otherwise, there's no meaning to have any anthem itself. Just point over. Thank you. Thank you. Now, token number three, next participant will speak for Suniti Mishra. Good morning, honorable chairperson, learned judges, respected teachers, and all my dear peers. In the opinion of this August House, 
the topic for today's debate is playing our national anthem in public places like cinema hall serves the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in minds of citizens i smriti mishra stand here in front of you to put forth my views in the favor of the motion to say that national anthem is an expression of one's nationalistic pride solidarity patriotic zeal and fervor is to state the obvious with this lofty ideal in view the honorable supreme court of india passed a law which makes it mandatory to play a national anthem in all cinema halls honorable chairperson i wholeheartedly appreciate this move by the honorable supreme court in fact i strongly believe that our national anthem should be played not only in the cinema halls but in every government and private institution this is the best way to show our patriotic feelings and reverence towards our nation my worthy opponents should not forget the fact that our motherland overthrew the shackles of slavery after a very long period of struggle and sacrifices in the words of pandit jawaharlal nehru independence is defined as a twist with a destiny has not come without a price on the eve of independence in the year 1947 india had witnessed a partition which had rent the national fabric asunder deeply injured at heart and bleeding hitherto owing to the gruesome division a new nation came into existence keeping this background in our mind honorable judges i am sure it will warm the cockles of heart of each and every indian towards the national anthem which was played when the national tricolor was hoisted on the ramparts of the red fort for the first time on 15th august 1947 One more noteworthy fact that makes us proud of singing our national anthem is it is composed by the iconic poet laureate and Nobel Prize winner Kabi Guru Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore was not just the first non-European but also the first Asian to win the coveted Nobel Prize. He also holds the rare honor of composing the national anthems of two different countries. Such is the wide-reaching power of a national anthem that when it's played in the stadium during international matches, players experience a surge of nationalism in their veins. Virat Kohli, one of the most popular mainstream role models, has aptly put it. the feeling is the most amazing you get an adrenaline rush for the game after the national anthem ends my worthy opponents i ask that when we idolize our sports stars and defense personnel why can't we civilians emulate them when it comes to pay respect towards our national anthem in cinema halls it's high time we should start giving the due honors to our national anthem by standing on our feet for a short span of 52 seconds isn't it there goes a saying in sanskrit janni janma bhumischa swargadapi gariyasi and what better way to extol our motherland's virtues than singing a national anthem with whole throated ease and gusto let's take pride in being indians and celebrate our indianness because our national anthem is the most befitting form of showcase this essential aspect that's unity in diversity which epitomizes the quintessential india so instead of singing the cheap songs of bollywood industry i would like to take a solemn pledge that henceforth i will sing my national anthem with nationalistic pride and fervor jai hind Thank you. 
टोकन नंबर थ्री अगेंस्ट तानिया फटकर अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू रिस्पेक्टेड चेयरपर्सन ऑनरेबल जजेस टाइम कीपर्स माई वर्दी अपोनेंट्स एंड द मेंबर्स ऑफ ऑडियंस पेइंग रिस्पेक्ट टू द नेशनल एंथम ऑफ इंडिया पेंट बाय आर गुरुदेव रविंद्रनाथ टागोर आय तनया फाटकर वुड लाइक टू वॉइस माय ओपिनियन अगेंस्ट द मोशन प्लेइंग द नेशनल एंथम इन पब्लिक प्लेसेस लाइक सिनेमा हॉल्स इंस्टील द फोव ऑफ नेशनल यूनिटी इन द माइंड ऑफ सिटीजन इन इंडिया some decades ago it was compulsory to sing national anthem at the end of the movie however in the rush to leave the theater audience did not stand during the national anthem and this was disrespected the supreme court on november 30 2016 passed an order and made it compulsory to all theaters to play the national anthem before the movie in january 2018 the apex court modified that playing the national anthem is not compulsory in spite of that we all still stand up and listen the national anthem to show respect before we can watch a movie in a theater here my dear friends i would like to focus on the double standards of same directive it also emits that whenever the national anthem is going on audience have to stand in attention However when a new thrill or documentary is going on and the national anthem is played as part of that movie or film audience are not expected to stand as it interrupt and create disorder and confusion rather than it add dignity to the anthem it is a chaotic situation when the national anthem is played in theaters personally i find it rather strange and have no idea why the national anthem is played in theaters before the bollywood pot boiler is about to be screened what is the silliest still is you are thrown out of the theater for it what is the need of possibility insinuate the national anthem at the venue that is purely mean by entertainment there is a time place mood and ambience for everything we don't joke and laugh at a funerals we don't sing filmy item songs in temples then why it is compulsion in theaters people come ready to see a movie which is fully packed with suspense romance comedy and horror getting goodies and popcorns and suddenly everything changes and we have to stand in attention when the national anthem is going on even before the jay is sung people try to settle down in their seats eagerly waiting for the chart buster numbers and welcoming them with whistles and cat calls i ask my worthy opponents is this what patriotism is one might ask what's wrong in playing standing up for and listening the national anthem nothing of course but the problem is making the same practice as compulsion and more importantly declaring anybody who is not following an anti national element is this right a group of nine men and women in chennai attended a late morning showing of a sports comedy movie and decided on principle not to rise when the song was played the protected drew little attention at first but during the interval some audience members accosted the group the national anthem should be played when respect is to be paid towards the nation that's why we play the national anthem before we can watch a movie in a theater it is as logical as playing the national anthem in public place before eating in a restaurant or before entering in the office just why the normal day of an indian is we get up get ready and set out for our daily routines no fanfares no ganas no bhajans nothing but when it is independence day or republic day the same indian is woken with the sounds of desh bhakti songs wearing white outfits vendors are busy selling the flags of various sizes but some fly, flags lies on the road 
यंगस्टर झूम ऑन देअर बाइक विथ ट्राय कलर फ्लाईंग हाय ऑसम बट ही आर द कॅच द अगली साईड दीज यंगस्टर रिमूव द सायलेन्सर ऑफ देअर बाईक क्रिएटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ नॉइज पॉल्युशन थँक यू अँड जय हिंद थँक यू अवर नेक्स्ट पार्टिसिपेंट टोकन नंबर फोर आद्या दास शी विल टॉक फॉर द टॉपिक इट्स अ सॉन्ग दॅट शक अ कॉल विथ सो मेनी हिडन मीनिंग्स इट इज अन अँथम दॅट हॅज सीन दॅम ऑल येत शुड हाय थ्रू आउट द फॉल अँड गेव बॅक द सेन्स ऑफ फ्रीडम गुड मॉर्निंग ऑनरेबल चेअरपर्सन एस्टीम जजेस teachers were the opponents and all my dear friends i adya das stand here to speak for the motion playing a national anthem in public places like cinema halls solves a purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens the national anthem is just one more sim- symbol making rendition of the anthem compulsorily in public places integrate our nation into one unified fiber do my worthy opponents even know what does the national anthem stand for let me tell you the national anthem represents the history tradition and beliefs of the people it stands for the tears of the martyrs i strongly approve of, of the motion when the national anthem is played in public places major cultural fests or international sporting events the people as well as the players experience an intrinsic emotion for their respective nations why my worthy opponents may say that this is a wrong practice but must remember that everything be it singing the national anthem should have a starting point we start by raising a hint of patriotism in the people nationalism or love for the nation does begin with national anthems i agree that patriotism cannot be forced fed but they must be mindful that patriotism comes out of respect for one's nation and who doesn't have that respect in their hearts for the nation they're living in that nation which is catering to the person's needs i would also like to say that many proud citizens are moved by the genuine feel the affection for their countries they despite their ethnic beliefs and culture rise up in unison and sing the song enthusiastically therefore the national anthem is respected spontaneously most importantly it directly inculcates the fervor of nationalism and affection for one's nation perhaps i should also mention that singing the nation's anthem automatically shows how much we care for our country we need not stoop to heroism for showing our compassion our melodious national anthem is just a mere minute long so what's wrong with carrying patriotism on our sleeves when we meet in public places i raise a question to my worthy opponents can they spare such a small fraction of time from their busy and hectic schedule I would very much like to inform you that the national anthem never disrespects its people be it their caste be it their creed be it their religion according to me the national anthem is a strong binding force between us the fellow citizens in peace it binds us in war it inspires us and in all walks of life it drives us with a spark of patriotism furthermore The national anthem is kind of a hard song to sing sometimes but god has given us the strength to put it together uh, in in order to tell you that our national anthem is the base is not is is the base form for everything to function my worthy opponent has said that it isn't but she must remember that everything has a starting point for um, This gesture accurately expresses the solidarity of Indians and presents our country as a united front. My worthy opponent has said 
this but but they must remember that uh, we are a united nation lastly people of our culture are diverse but still united by one relevant meme that is the national anthem in the end i firmly reiterate that the nation is best summed up in 52 seconds thank you uh, token number 4 next participant vaishnavi gosale against the topic Good morning honorable chief guest of the day respected teachers and my dear friends i am here to speak about the about on the topic of national uh, national anthem playing national anthem in public places like cinema, cinema hall against the motion you know that our national anthem represents our uh, country's our country's heritage and proud but singing national anthem in cinema hall is right you know our national anthem consider our equality so variety we should respect our national anthem national anthem is not a simple is not a simple song sung in sung in public places like cinema hall our national anthem is consist of our traditionals our costumes our nation heritage our equality sh should should show in our national anthem our national anthem is our national anthem has regarding to our uh, constitution there are some rules uh, rules uh, regarding uh, to um, according to the national uh, constitution there are some there are some rules that national anthem sh should play in open place not in roof place because when we you know that when we go in our school assembly have, have taken first we take prayer then our national anthem is played but in cinema hall we are taking when we enter in when we enter in cinema halls we uh, our um, we uh, uh, we forced to sing the national anthem national anthem is not a song that we should force for our force to sing national anthem in public places some uh, some have uh, interest in singing but 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 all people are not uh, not as our our opinion uh, others opinions are different from us we, we are thinking our national anthem should be played in cinema hall but not we, sh we should think about na our national anthem our country we have to develop our country not not only showing we, we are singing in uh, cinema in cinema hall we are singing national anthem we, sh we are showing it not we are showing it by heart we are we are not interested to sing this national anthem in cinema hall but what you are thinking that a drunk we you know that a drunken person drunken person may come and see, uh, come for watching uh, movies you know that how his space how he is what the, his mentality he is doing another thing when national anthem started he is thinking that oh it is atom song how to how should we sing it i don't know this song how can we sing this shows that our we don't know how we are, what we are doing we should respect our national anthem we should tell others that that our national anthem is not a simple song we should say it properly we should stand properly we sh we know that our national anthem is a respectful song we should give respect to our national anthem and we should stand properly when national anthem is going on we know that we know that uh, we know that our national anthem uh, sh should not be played in m with my opinion national anthem should be not be played in cinema halls because our national anthem uh, our national anthem does our national anthem does not we should not play our national anthem in cinema hall because when when we enter in cinema hall all, all the people's minds are diverted we don't know what what is going on their mind we don't know what they want to do they come they come they are for enjoyment not for playing national anthem we we we, we can't force them to sing national anthem in cinema in public places like cinema hall their their minds are diverted uh, diverted in other ways work you know that the um, in cinema all workers think things happens they are not concentrating on their 
points uh, not singing national anthem and in, we are they are not interested to sing national anthem so we should not force anyone to sing national anthem in public places thank you thank you now token number 5 tanya godbole against the topic to honorable chief guest member of the jury respected teachers and my worthy opponents i tanaya godbole i am here to speak against the topic playing our national anthem in public places like cinema hall solves the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens and i am speaking against the motion In 2018 Supreme Court had review acted that it is not mandatory to play national anthem in cinema halls a question arises why this drastic change has been observed there must be some strong opposition opinion which led to not compulsion to play national anthem before the movie as rightly quoted by our honorable prime minister mr narendra modi and i quote Mind is never a problem. Mindset is. Time has changed, and we must welcome even the opposed views positively. So I am here to strongly oppose playing national anthem in public places like cinema halls, as it is reducing respect and its value for it. However, national anthem is not only the national song, but it represents our country. it must be played in an open area rather than under a roof however national anthem patriotism is a feeling which comes within us and recalls the nation's tradition history and belief and its history and belief of the nation and its people which reminds the nation's glory beauty and rich heritage for this we frequently doesn't go to cinema hall to revive our patriotism however however our state is demanding a proof to prove for patriotism that to even before watching a movie isn't it dangerous as it is creeping opposition within us also can a single gesture for judge oneself as respectful or disrespectful towards one's country true nationalism or patriotism is something that doesn't mean to be blindly supporting everything happening in your surrounding indeed it it is moving towards dangerous times even it may ignite the conflicts between the people who support playing national anthem in cinema halls and who don't which destroys the unity of the nation As a resident of this country I don't support playing national anthem in public places like cinema halls as it is not showing patriotism or unity nationalism or patriotism is a feeling that comes in our heart and in and in our blood we people go to cinema hall to enjoy after a hectic day we don't go to cinema halls to show our patriotism or loyalty a question arises and i ask every citizen are we having are we citizens of free india who can make choices of their own feelings of expressions at last i would like to put your attention towards one thing why There are so many places where Supreme Court is not allowing national anthem to be played. 
why not in the parliament? There must begin its sessions with the national anthem. Thank you. Uh, next participant in token five, Rohini Maraskole, for the topic. 